Climate change will shrink the U.S. economy and kill thousands of people, according to a recent government report amplified in screaming headlines throughout the establishment media. Are we approaching the eve of destruction, as environmental activists would have us believe? I'm Tim Donner with five facts about climate change and the dire predictions of environmental activists. Fact one, the recent climate assessment report is being falsely portrayed as a product of the Trump administration. It is nothing of the sort. This is a report mandated by Congress to be updated and released every few years. It's been in the works for years, starting under the Obama administration, and is almost entirely the product of career officials, what some have called the climate deep state, embedded in federal agencies. Why did the Trump administration allow this to happen? Because there weren't yet enough political appointees in the nascent Trump administration to put a stop to it. Fact two, the left has relabeled global warming as climate change. Actual warming of the planet has still not been detected in the entire 21st century, and environmental activists have relabeled their life-altering theory accordingly. The more all-encompassing term, climate change, has allowed them to advance their theory of catastrophic global warming while still accounting for unusually cold winters, which have occurred, contrary to their predictions, as well as too much rain or too little rain, floods or droughts, hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, and any other abnormal weather. It can all be blamed on climate change. Fact three, none of the dire predictions of environmental activists have come true. As you can see here, in 1977, environmental alarmists and the elite media were predicting the coming ice age. Less than 30 years later, they predicted the opposite. Former Vice President Al Gore, whose signature Inconvenient Truth book and movie brought global warming, now called climate change, into the public consciousness, made his most spectacular prediction, quote, the entire North Polar or Arctic ice cap may well be completely gone in five years. That was 10 years ago. And in this year of 2018, the Arctic ice cap has actually grown. The theory advanced about warming caused by man-made emissions of greenhouse gases, heat trapping gases, should lead to a rise in temperature in a linear fashion. But in fact, there has been absolutely no rise in temperatures over the last 20 years. Fact four, higher levels of carbon dioxide or CO2 are very good for agriculture and greening the planet. We have eight billion people to feed on this planet, many of whom live on the edge of starvation. We obviously need to produce as much food as possible to address the problem and higher CO2 levels are a tremendous benefit to agriculture. Keeping CO2 levels artificially low will inevitably lead to more starvation. And that brings us to fact five. The Earth has experienced at least 17 ice ages. Now, maybe you thought there was just a single ice age, but on 17 different occasions over the last two million years, the Earth has cooled off so much that we had gigantic glaciers stretching from the North Pole as far south as Kentucky that were as much as two miles thick. And on 17 different occasions, for reasons scientists don't understand, those ice ages came to an end and all of those gigantic sheets of ice melted with zero man-made emissions. Those are five facts to consider when weighing the argument, the argument by environmental activists that climate change caused by humans will devastate the planet. Please subscribe to the LibertyNation.com YouTube channel where you'll get these five facts videos plus our LN TV roundtables, author interviews, Truth TV, LN Radio, our podcast, The Uprising, and more, all on the LibertyNation.com YouTube channel. Subscribe right now. I'm Tim Donner. Thanks for joining us.